It is time now for the PHL Afternoon News on the Sunday afternoon, November 22nd, 2015. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins out here at 1230 p.m. News and I, Zero and Not Top 3 at 1230 p.m. on this Sunday afternoon here is... In Brussels, where Belgium maintained the highest terror alert level with the capital of Brussels on Sunday, included a serious and immediate threat of an attack. Washington, Donald Trump said Sunday he'd monitor select mosques, bringing back waterboarding, and keep refugees on a watch list. In Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, President Barack Obama said on Sunday that the United States and its international partners will not relent in the fight against Islamic State, group and that the world would not accept the extremist attacks. Birmingham, Alabama. A white man punched and attempted to choke a black protester who was thrown on the ground at a Donald Trump rally in here on Saturday morning. And on look, he yelled, Don't choke him! Republican presidential candidate Senator Marco Rubio, Republican in Florida, speaks about his Cuban heritage and Cuba policy during an interview with the Associate Press in Orlando, Florida. A spokesman for the Iranian judiciary announced on Sunday that the jailed Washington Post reporter Jason Rezazian has been sent to prison, according to the Iranian news agency. China refuted claims that it militarized and disputed South China Sea, saying it needs to build facilities on its official island reefs to protect them. Moscow, Kiev, Crimea was left without electricity supplies from Ukraine on Sunday after pylons securing power lines to the Russia and Peninsula was blown up overnight. New Delhi, Bangladesh has executed two opposition leaders Sunday for war crimes during the country's next day one independence war, despite concerns that the legal proceedings against them were fought by the French and by violence on those reports. Cairo, Egypt and trickled in the mostly empty polling center as they voted Sunday in the second stage of parliamentary elections that will produce the country's first legislature since a chamber dominated by the Islamics were dissolved by a court ruling. In Houston, the oil industry was mined by the latest bus with thousands of jobs evaporating like flares flaming out of the over the natural gas wells. In New York, emergency response in New York City staged a drill simulating an active shooters in Manhattan subway station in the wake of the first attacks last week. In Clinton, Iowa, U.S. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton won Sunday proposal a $6,000 tax credit for costs associated with a cure for elderly and disabled family members and allowing caregivers to cure Social Security retirement. St. Louis Fed President James Ford speaks about the U.S. economy during an interview with Ann Thompson. Executives in the nation's Blue Cross and Blue Shield plan say that they are committed to covering an individuals on public exchange and of affordable care acting as a nation's largest health interest in the mindful of the government. In Yangon, nearly one of bought has been pulled from a landslide near a jade mine in Myanmar. Northern Ketchum State local officials said on Sunday in hopes are doing it than any of them. Estimated one of the people are missing will be found alive. Augmented plants with electron effects should make it possible to combine electric signals of the plant's own chemical processes. A new study reveals as many as half of the tree species in the Amazon tropical forest can face the threat of an extinction, but researchers say that there may be really a way to save the rainforest. Who would have thought that one day we will be refrigerating water with lasers, as the movies we have seen have led us to believe that the lasers can only heat up other objects? A huge ice storm on Saturn's moon tightens the components of hydrogen, carbon, and nitrogen. At Monrovia, Liberia has placed 153 people under surveillance as it seeks to control a new Ebola outbreak in its capital more than two months after the country was declared free of the virus, health officials said. While in the middle of a woman announced her pregnancy, she has given a long list of things not to do, from avoiding sushi to skipping her morning coffee. Las Vegas, after the death of a spa employee, Nevada has created health guidelines for career therapy and treatment and express aid has been growing in the popularity, but it is largely unregulated and those benefits are not proven. Researchers have found that roundworm infection have resulted in shorter birth intervals among Tasmanian women and allowed them to have two or more children on average compared to other Tasmanian women. Peter Channel News on 1234. Time out for our sports report here. The Boston Celtics will be at the Garden. Be at Brooklyn Center in Brooklyn tonight. Check on the Brooklyn Nets. Game time, 6 o'clock. In order to guarantee victory, coaches often say that the team's worst night might just be a little bit better than your opponent's best night. 
Despite a loss to Michigan State or Ohio State head coach Urban Meyer can take sauce in the performance of a handful of recruits already committed to the Buckeyes. Dubai. Roy McElroy won Dubai's TP World Tour Championship on Sunday overall overnight. Later, Andy Summon of the Four Birdies on the back nine dollars will be crowned that Europe's top money earner for a third year in four. Las Vegas, Mexico's most popular redhead, Sal Cano, after it's little bit of the win against Puerto Rican Rival. Miguel caught on the strategic battle that saw judges prefer the Mexican powers over the Puerca's hit and move tactics on Sunday, Saturday. Pierre Chelnusan, 1235, Tana for Trevor Port on this Sunday afternoon in New England. Take a look at the map here, and it's smooth sailing now. We're in Bowie, New England here, except we have some an accident here on 95 and a set fan side. And we'll zoom you into it as 95 and a set fan side. Back to that after 146 and around the Providence Place Mall area. So, expect some delays at 95 and a set fan side from Branch Avenue all the way up to downtown Providence here. 95 and a north fan side in Providence also. A little slow around Federal Hill around Route 6, 610. Get a little slow before Route 95 and downtown Providence here. Route 2 and an East Pan side, a little slow around. Route 1 11 and Acton Mass. But otherwise, a smooth sailing green and the mass main turnpike interchange with Route 185 and Suckle, a little slow. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on in the MBTA alerts there. Green Line is with some motor blades and a neural disabled train. Come here, we have Whistle Line train 2504. 10 p.m. in Ben and operating 15 20 minutes late between Natick and South Station due to late train traffic ahead. Whistle train 2505. 10 p.m. Ben is operating 10 to 15 minutes beyond scheduled department South Station due to late train equipment here. And on the ferries, they are looking good. Peter Channel News on 1236 and it's down for a weather report on this Sunday afternoon here. And looking at radar, and it shows a line in our brain charts. Off the coast and stretching all the way, covering them up to the Cape and the Islands here and stretching out to the southeastern Massachusetts and also raining in western and southern portion of Rhode Island, down to eastern and eastern portion of Connecticut and stretching in central and eastern portion of Long Island. Okay, seven day forecast goes like this here. But this afternoon, scattered showers before 2 p.m., then rain mainly between and after 2 p.m., high near 50 degrees here. Northwest of about six miles an hour, chest is. 50% to 100% and new first match between a 10 and an inch possible. For the night, rain not going to be before 8 p.m. Then scattered shots between 8 p.m. and midnight. Then a chance rain after midnight. Most cars got about 31 degrees. No first about 6 to 8 miles an hour. Chest rate is 6%. New first match between a 10 and an inch possible. For Monday, sets got about 41 degrees. No first about 7 to 9 miles an hour here. For Monday night, most of the coast cars going to be down to 23 degrees. West from about 3 to 5 miles an hour here. For Tuesday, sets got about 42 degrees. West from about 3 to 5 miles an hour here. For Tuesday, most of the coast about 25 degrees. Wednesday, South Carolina have about 46 degrees. Wednesday night, most of the coast about 30 degrees. Thanksgiving Day, most of the podcasts got about 34, about 39 degrees. It'll be good weather for the, for the football games on Thursday, including Norton and Millennium and Norton here. Friday, most of the coast have about 39 degrees, so good for Black Friday shoppers here. Friday night, Chet the Shouts, most of the coast about 42 degrees. Chet the Shouts, most of the coast got about 57 degrees, and Chet the Shouts, most of the coast not in temperature at 51 degrees, light rain, fog, mist, and humidity, 89%. And that is going to be it for the Peter Channel. Afternoon news on this, November 22nd, 2015, here on a Tuesday, on a Sunday. Peter, you have a good afternoon. Goodbye to you at 5 o'clock for a 5 o'clock report. Have a good afternoon on the Sunday.